G'day, g'day, and thank you for stopping by my channel. How are you? I hope you're good. Today's video is for the Rediscover Your Stash Facebook group uh, with Sarah Scraps in the product focus of the month, which is sequins. I unfortunately did not get to do last month, so I'm trying to incorporate acrylic stamps into it as well because I did miss last month because my mum was sick so I had to go visit her in the hospital quite a lot so anyways that's all good so um, my idea for this was to which I've sort of had the thought in my head for a while because we all have a lot of little bits of bling and sequins and scrumdilly umptious little things like that around that I wanted to do a stamp you of a floral I was thinking to do a floral and then to have the sequins outline the floral as best I could um, to accentuate the flower so that was my idea so what I did to start with because I didn't really have an idea of what photo that I was going to use or what stamp or what paper or anything that was just an idea floating around in my head so I went to my stamps and I I'm not very good stamper, not like Miss Scraps, she's awesome. <laughs> um, so I went through some of my stamps and I wanted to pick out some stamp, a stamp to use. I have these old ones, I don't have a real lot of stamps, but I've got a lot of stamps for someone who doesn't use many, let's put it that way. So I had this, was an idea, and I'm like, nah, nah. I did buy this one recently which is from the Vicky Booten Where To Next collection. And I did like the flowers on this, but I thought maybe I might not get too many sequins on the petals, that it might be a little bit small, especially this one here. But I wasn't sure, so I did pull that one as well. This is a really old one from Kaiser Craft. This is, I'll try not to get too much glare from my, my light on there, uh, from Bubble gum hills collection and i'm like yeah when i pulled it out i'm like yeah nah not quite <laughs> and also this one from uniquely created which i really like the flowers and i thought maybe i could do three little sequins on the edge there but then i was getting to this really small flower and it was just a little bit too tiny for the sequins i thought so i was, i pulled it but um i thought i'll keep looking see what else i got because I've got heaps, so, you know, just keep going. Um, then I thought of this one with the Vicky Booten, but I wasn't really happy with the flowers there either because there's just it's too many little petals. And then I really like this one. I have a few, told you. <laughs> um, so then I was thinking, but there was only the two flowers. I actually wanted a set of three flower stamps if I could get it. So the last one that I got was this one here, which had one, two, and three flowers on it. And I liked the um, stamp because I thought I can get a few little sequins around the edge of the flower and then putting two or three, like less and less, on there. So I thought I'd give this one a go. That was the one I ended up choosing. So from there, I had to choose... Hmm, a photo, and then I had to choose <laughs> papers. So I am sort of um, scrapbooking some photos from when we went to Italy uh, for our honeymoon. So I'm trying to get all those scrapbooked. And because I was using Vicky Booten stamps, I thought, well, why not pull out some Vicky Booten papers? All goes together, doesn't it? And I've got this really old one, and I thought, cool. I'll start with that let's have a go at that um, so I went through this one and I really like this one but I don't have any embellishments with it and I don't know the name of it I only know it as the pink collection because to start with I, I could never find the names I just went by the colors they all had like a color pink and green and yellow so I just went by the color um, but this is all I have from this collection I only have the, the 12 by 12 paper pad so I went through there and I was looking for a plain background like so you know so that I could see my stamps on and that I could do in the corner maybe or around the outside but then I don't know it's Vicky Boot and it's all so pretty so 
I ended up stumbling across, let me see if I can find the other one of it, the second one, this one here. And I just really liked it. Now let me turn around this way so you can see. I really liked this paper. So I thought, hmm, why don't I use that as my background? Pop my photo just in the centre, which is one from Pompeii. And I really like like the muted colours of this one and just the mixed media look of it without doing a lot of mixed media. And I thought, well, if I can just stamp a couple of flowers on top of it, it will look really well done without doing a lot of work. You know what I mean? So I did do that. And I also picked a photo, which I will grab for you. And I uh, ended up backing my page. So I've done some work so that my video is not too long. So what I did was I cut my um, page down a little bit, about half an inch on two sides so that I could mat it on this pretty yellow because I just wanted to add another colour um, besides the pinky orange colour and the green. So I wanted to bring in some more colour and I really liked the yellow there, which is, let me show you a leftover piece of that. There is actually a black and white of this pattern in this book and the yellow pattern is that one there. It is so pretty. And what it, what attracted me to this one is that it actually pulls the colors from the stones and the earth around our photo in the background there there's ochres and yellows and just greys and reds it's just really really pretty and these earthy tones just picked up on it really nicely i quite liked it so what i did was so you didn't have to sit and watch me do it because it's very painful watching me stamp <laughs> i'm not a very good stamper but what i wanted to do was stamp some flowers which i did and i didn't use black i wish i kind of had have used black instead of um the gray which was hickory smoke but i am still quite happy with it because they sort of are subdued so i'm not upset with it i do quite like it i did um cut one of the larger florals of vicky's in half and just place her in the outside to bring some yeah, more yellow onto the layout. So I stamped my larger stamp twice there and there and then I've just glued some sequins around the outside just to accentuate the flower. I probably could have placed them a little bit better <laughs> but what I'm going to do also is put some larger um, Diamantes or jewels in the middle so it looks more like a flower but I did um, pink green and yellow um, sequins and they're a sequin mix from uniquely creative and it matches perfectly with this Vicky boot and the colors are spot on which was really really sweet and they're not they are shiny but and they give a little sparkle just a little sparkle not in your face sparkle so it was really, I'm really happy with how it's going so far. And I've just, I've popped my photo up on foam and I matted it in the yellow, which I gutted on the back there. I gutted my page because I always like to put um, the mat in the same as what I mat the whole layout in. So I'm up to there. I want to put my title up here and I just fussy cut some flowers as well and added a few more little sequins to those as well. These orangey flowers here, I don't have any orange sequins. So what I'm going to do with those is I'm actually going to do just a very gentle layer of um, glitter glue just to give it a little bit of sparkle, but not just a, like a clear one, just to add a little bit of sparkle, not a heap. I don't want to um, add too much more. I just want to have the flowers so that they are a little bit sparkly. So I've got beside me here my pile of old, <laughs> and I'm in a pile 
of old Kaiser Craft um, blings. They're flowers in different colours and there's some large dots. And these are quite hard to use because they're large. I apologise for my lighting. I'm doing it at night time. I turned the one off straight above so you didn't get the glare on the photo. So what I'm thinking to do is in the green one, I do have a green. It is a bit bolder than what's in what colour the sequin is, but I'm going to go with it, I think. I think I'm just going to go with it and see how it goes. I'm quite happy with my flowers. I didn't do sequins on the inside, but after it sits for a little while, I may do that yet as well. But I think I'm going to start with a green, a green one. I must have used that once before. They're quite large, almost about a half an inch across they are. They're quite large. So let me grab my big green one over here. Well, I could use a very big green one there. Or do I want a small one and a small one in the middle? I might use a big one over that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this green one in the middle to help it look more like a flower as well. I wish I had big sequins, but unfortunately I don't. I only have gems. I'm just going to put one there in the middle of that green flower there. And then I think on this big green flower down here, I think I'm going to use one of these big ones. They are a little bit brighter, but that's okay. I think it'll blend okay. Here we go. So that's my green. Now, I do have pink. I'm not sure. I know I've got a soft pink, but I'm not sure if I have a soft pink in these round ones anymore. So what I might use, oh yes I do, oh that's good, because I also have like a little, a little flower which is really cute, but I'll, I'll go with these for my pink ones, and again I might use the big one on the big flower over here, and then the small one over here. So there's, I'm trying to keep my video short because I know there's going to be lots of videos in this hop. Stop by and have a look at all the different ideas on how to use your sequins because they're such a cute accessory for layouts. I like a little bit of shine on my layout, a little bit of sparkle. I'm always using little gems and um, I've actually did go through a stage there of using um, glitter glue just to add a little bit of um, glitter here and there. I really like it. I love a bit of foiling, anything shiny, a bit of bling. I love it really nice. I really wish I had a yellow one for down there. What other colours have I got? Hmm, I've got blue. Oh, I don't have any yellow, but that's okay. I might use clear on there. And I'll put my big one over here just to finish off. Because it is quite busy, I won't do too much more to my layout. Now, I'm going to add my title before I forget. I have gotten through layouts before and completely forgot to add my title. I am going to pop also, I think I'm going to go clear on my orangey one. I think I'm going to go with a clear one. Just there in the middle. Yes, you can hardly see it there, but that'll be really good. That'll blend in nicely. And do I want a big one there? Hmm, you know what I might? I might. Whoops, why wow, that one was loose. They're getting really old, so they're falling off literally. I'm going to put that one there, and I'm going to put a little one over here so that I've got three. So I've got three green. I only got two pink ones. Hmm. I'm going to have to add another pink one somewhere, I think. I'm going to add this one in the middle of my pink flower there. I actually might add one, two, three, one, two, three, 
One, two. Hmm. What if I add it on my camera? Do you think that'll be too weird? I can't fit it in there. I think I might add it on my camera. Actually, there is a little pink flower just behind the camera. I'm going to pop it just there. It's very big though, isn't it? Oh, it's a bit too big. I'm going to pop it in the middle of the camera. I like putting one on there, so there it goes. If I can get in the right spot. There we go. Let's just go all out with the bling. There we go. Now, for my title, I just wanted something very simple. And I've got the um, Where To Next um, layered chipboard Bitsy Bobbies. I've got those. So I wanted to use Captured Moments. I thought that might be nice just up there. So I think I'll take that off if I can gently without creasing it. I don't want to crease my title but I am going to add a little bit of glue hope everyone is doing well and I hope you're all getting a little bit of time in your scrappy room I haven't had as much time in my scrappy room because my mummy's been sick in hospital so that's okay you gotta do what you gotta do but I am making an effort to get in back into it Get back in the craft room because I really enjoy it and it keeps me sane. Now it's a bit poppy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck it under there like so. Just above the flower a little bit. There we go. These are so cute and the orange and the yellowish colour or the red it's kind of like a ready orange. There's all different funny colours. But it goes really well. And this is like super old. Like super old. This um, pink paper pad. Oh gosh, I don't know what year it's from. I'd have to have a look. I wonder if it has a year on it. Oh. Oh, 2017. Oh. Well, maybe not that old. <laughs> I was thinking older than that. But anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this up here. Here we go. And I'm just about done. I really don't want to do too much else to this layout. I'm really happy with the way it is. I just wanted to add some sequins. What I think I might do is try and find a little, little bit of bling to go into the centre of the yellow flowers. Let me really have a look. I do have some yellow bling. Why don't I pop yellow bling in? Because it's so little. I've got some little yellow uniquely creative ones. So I might pop one of them because they're just a shade darker. I wonder if I can squeeze one in there. Don't mind my head. Check out my grey hairs. <laughs> Just going to pop that in the middle of it I think. Just in the middle there like so. And it'll just look a little bit more like a flower. It just looks like a blob of sequins <laughs> at the moment. Let me pop this one down in here. And of course it sticks to the um, to the tweezers. There we go. There we are. Right, and well, that's about it really. Very simple, but I quite like it. I keep my layouts quite flat, and because I like to try and put as many in an album as I can, but I'm quite happy. I just wanted to keep it quite simple and just have my sequins do a little bit of shiny bling there. They're so cute. <laughs> So I hope you like my use of the sequins and I hope you give it a go. 
I think it would be really cute to use them also like, you know how you have the, um, the wreath layouts, the pages? Just sprinkling them in there as well, like all around the flowers. And it would just add a nice little layer and a little bit of sparkle is, to your layout. Be very nice. All right. Well, thank you very much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed my layout. And I hope that uh, you get lots of ideas from the YouTube hop. Um, be sure to stop by and give everyone a little like. That would be very much appreciated, I'm sure. Well, till next video, thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.